Hey style peeps, is more more or is less more? What if I told you it was both? <laughs> yes, indeed, it's both. Stay tuned. So thanks for sticking with me. And yes, the answer is both, but it all depends on your plan. <laughs> yeah, go figure, because it's me. I'm all about the plan. Who am I? I'm Liz Cleva from Closet Play Image, where we are all about bright ideas for your style and your wardrobe. Um, it's YouTube, you know how it works. Please do me a solid like, subscribe, do all that thing, the notification bell, all of it. I try and put out two videos each Tuesday God willing, mother permitting, mother and technology permitting, uh, about style, fashion, wardrobe planning, because that's really my jam. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about that today, about that, that either or thinking that we have. So a lot of people go, oh, you know, I don't wanna be limited, right? So I don't wanna do a capsule wardrobe because it's limiting, or I don't want to because I need more stuff. Okay, no problem. I am good with that. If you need more, then go more. Um, at the same time, less does not have to be limiting and less can be more. So let's do the math, okay? And this is where it really opens people's eyes all the time. We're gonna do a little capsule math. So this here is my spring capsule wardrobe that I pulled together and there may be a video. If so, I will try and link it. Um, oh, it's pro probably just hit the wrong side too now. I never get it. <laughs> anyway, I will try and link about um, my spring capsule. There should be, I think there's a video about it. If not, there's one coming. <laughs> but so yeah, let's talk about that. So right here is my spring capsule wardrobe um, and including the two pieces I'm wearing right now. So another pair of jeans and another white shirt. This is the season of the white shirt. I've got some serious white shirt going on this year. So um, this summer, because summer and white shirts, right? So I've actually got 30, 32 pieces all together. Now, when I say less is more, less is more when you have a plan. And that plan depends on how it works out. Now, there's two factors that kind of play into that plan. One, working with what you have, um, but also taking into account what we call wardrobe balance. And wardrobe balance is having a good just what it says, a good balance of things, like tops to bottoms, to dresses, to jackets, to toppers. Like if I had 15 jackets here and two t-shirts and six pairs of pants, that wouldn't be very well balanced for a summer wardrobe, right? I need more tops, I need some shorts and fewer long pants, and I certainly need fewer toppers, at least where I live, because it's just hot and humid as I'll get out here in Georgia. So, but I do still need toppers because we are conditioned to Arctic everywhere we go. And so, you know, if I go just the other night, we went to dinner at a restaurant before a concert and I needed my jacket. Didn't need it at the concert, but I certainly needed it in the restaurant. So it's a matter of knowing where you are and planning for that. And another key to keeping that really versatile in that sense. So when I talk about versatility, I mean mixing and matching, like mix and match versatility or grow animals for grownups, right? We want to, everything to be as wearable with as many other things as possible. And for me, the easiest way to do that is to stick within a really tight color palette. Now, this is not as tight as some I have created. So basically I have neutrals here of white, uh, denim and navy. So I have white, blue, and then I've actually got some, some browns and taupes in here, which is very unusual for me. If you followed me for any time, you'll know that's probably the first time you've seen them in I don't know how many years. Um, and then my colors, my colors, my accent colors are kind of turquoisey slash aqua and blush pink. So that's what I've got going on there. I do have a couple of items that I've included that are totally off palette, but I'm okay with that. And I know they're going to be limited in what they can be mixed and matched with. But let's just do a little bit, let's run the numbers, right? Let's do the math for a little, so I've got tops here. I've got one that I'm wearing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got 14 tops. So if I wanted a great top bottom balance, I would have like seven bottoms compared to the 14 tops. Uh, so let's see what I've got, just out of curiosity. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight, I've got nine, if you include the jeans I'm wearing. 
um, because it's summer and my bottoms get washed more often than they would in fall and winter. So that's okay too. Um, Cause I don't, you know, summer, more frequent laundry, right? I've got, and then I've got a couple of sweaters because that whole AC thing, and sometimes there's cool mornings. I've got one, two, three dresses, four dresses, four dresses, and a jean jacket and a couple of lightweight tops, toppers, excuse me, jackets. So the way this works is if I've got 14 tops, so let's crunch the numbers. Here's where's my, where's my, where's my calculator. So if I could wear, whoop, that was just because I unplugged my phone. Grab the calculator. This should have been out already. Sorry about that. Poor planning on my part. So if I have 14 tops times seven bottoms, 14 times seven, boop, I've got 98 outfits just by pairing each top with a bottom. Now granted, not all the tops are gonna go with all the bottoms because like I said, I mixed things up a little bit here. I added this pair of shorts, which is kind of limiting and I can only wear it with a, maybe half of my tops. So let's take out, I don't know, let's take out, let's take out seven tops since I said I could only wear it with half. So I'm still at 91 outfits, okay? So each dress is an outfit all on its own. So that's plus another four. So I've gotten, I'm back to 95 outfits, right? Now, hmm, well, if I'm wearing this capsule for three months and there are 90 some odd days, just over 90 days in three months, I've already got more outfits I can wear without repeating for the next 90 days if repeating bothered me. Now, I'm good, hashtag on repeat, I'm good with that. I can wear the same combo one over and over. But you may not, you may wanna change that up. But so right now I've already got more outfits than I need with these 32 pieces for the entire three months. And I've got plenty of variety. So if I take those 95 outfits and I have one, two, three different toppers that I could wear over them. So let's times that 95 times three. Now I'm up to 285 outfits. Now granted, not all of them are gonna work, right? So let's subtract I don't know, let's subtract 25 outfits from that because maybe I'm not gonna wanna wear the browner toppers with some of the bottoms. I'm still at 260. So if you can see what's happening here is we have a ton of variety because it is very mix and match. So 260, oh, yeah, and I can top the dresses with those. So I certainly have more outfits than I can wear in the next three months with my 32. And now if you include in the variety that I get by changing my shoes and changing my jewelry and adding a scarf or taking off a scarf, we are literally talking over a thousand different outfits easily, easily. So it's just a little bit of, little bit of capsule math, throwing that out there. Because so often I hear from people when we're working on planning a wardrobe for them, like especially if we're creating a grand plan, um, I start by building a capsule and then we build out that capsule because it's a powerful place to start. So if you are working on building a new wardrobe, maybe you are starting from scratch. Maybe you've lost weight and, or gained weight or, and you're starting from scratch. The easiest way that I find to do that is to start with a capsule. And it would probably be smaller than this. I would start with a 15 piece capsule and then I would build that out probably to around 30 pieces. And then what happens later? Well, when we get to fall, I'll keep a bunch of these things and then add say another 15. So really, and the, the, tons, the sum, super summery things would go into storage until next year. But it's a great way to think about building out a wardrobe is to think in capsules and expansion rather than thinking, oh my gosh, I need to buy new clothes. Like I, I, I need to go to the store because then we start thinking in outfits because we see things hung at the store in outfits and that can be, and I will actually link a post below um, about do you think in outfits or do you think in separates? Because that's a very key difference 
in some people think in outfits and I actually have a client who hangs outfits in her closet because that's how her brain works and she's happy with that more power to her it works great doesn't work so great when you're packing for a trip but that's another story so starting small building out is probably the most effective way to especially if you're starting from scratch or maybe your coloring has changed like mine did dramatically in my 40s when I stopped coloring my hair 40s was I in my 40s I don't even remember how old I was now yes I was in my 40s so yeah when I stopped coloring my hair my coloring changed dramatically which meant my wardrobe needed to change with me so it's just something to think about start small and build out so yeah but there's your capsule math so I've got what a lot of outfits even just the clothing I've still got more than 250 I'm not going naked anytime soon all right so again thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today I'm Liz Clever from Closet Play Image if you were looking for more information you can find it on our website that's closetplay.biz closetplay.biz biz rhymes with Liz I'm Liz Clever thank you for spending some time with me today because your time is valuable and any of it you spend with me is a gift so stay safe and sound sane and stylish